Respected listeners, the month of Ramadan was supposed to come and is about to leave from our lives. Ayyam al-Ma'adudat, in the words of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, these days are just a limited number of days. We are into the last days of Ramadan, the last 10 days, Prophet وسلم, are freedom from the fire of Jahannam. May Allah free us all from the fire of Jahannam. What are we remaining, respected listeners? Seven days, ten day, eight days. Let us value this. Let us take it as an emergency, urgency to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to gain nearness to Him, to seek His forgiveness. Because the floodgates of mercy and forgiveness and the freedom from fire of Jahannam that are open right now from the most merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be there after eight or nine days, seven, eight days. May Allah give us the ability to value what we have and what we see. Ibn Qayyum writes a very strange story in his book. He says a woman living in Afghanistan, this was 300 years ago. She had little kids, her husband had died. Hard times came in the country of Afghanistan and people were leaving the country. And she left too. She went to Samarkand, Bukhara, Azerbaijan area. She knocked on a door, there were no hotels and motels at that time. She knocked on a door and a Muslim man opened the door and she said, Listen, I am in distress, I am a widow, I have little kids. I am a Sayyidah, I am from the descendants of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you can give me shelter for a couple of days till I find a place, I need help. The Muslim man says, What proof do you have you are a Sayyidah, you are a descendant of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? She says, I don't have any proof. He slams her door on her and he says, many people say they are the descendants of Prophet Dejected, she goes on another door and knocks on the door and a naked a fire worshipper opens the door. And she says the same thing, I am a Sayyidah, a descendant of the Prophet in distress, please help me for a couple of days. He says, you are a descendant of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I respect that man, that person. Please come on in. And he tells his wife, we have a guest. Let us treat her special, her and her children. That night, the Muslim man is sleeping and he sees a dream. And he sees a magnificent palace in paradise. And outside the palace is standing Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he asked for Prophet of Allah, whose palace is this? Prophet says, this palace belongs to a Muslim. He says, oh Prophet of Allah, I am a Muslim. Prophet says, do you, what proof do you have you are a Muslim? You have an ID, in other words. He says, oh Prophet of Allah, do not have any proof. Then Prophet says, my, one of my descendants, my daughter came and knocked on your door. And he slammed the door on her face. He wakes up shaken up from his dream. He runs in the neighborhood finding where the woman and the children are. And finally he finds out that he's, the woman is living in the house of a fire worshipper. He knocks on the door and the fire worshipper opens the door. And the man, Muslim man says, listen, the woman is my guest. I need to take the woman and children to my home. The fire worshipper says, why should I allow the, my guests to leave my home? Because I saw a dream last night, he says. And I saw your prophet in my dream. And your prophet was very upset at you. For not giving shelter to this woman and kids. And he, there was a magnificent palace. I asked whose palace is that? 
And the Prophet told me that the palace belongs to a Muslim. At that time, I accepted Shahada al Islam. So these moments, these opportunities, respected listeners, don't come very often. I was in a janaza last week, Wednesday, Zuhur prayers. Tuesday, we met a person, you know that person. May Allah bless me, Jannatul Fidawus. He was very only 55 years old. Every day he would come to Salat, stand in the first row. He complained, no problems, no medical issues at all. He complained of stomach ache. The following day he died. Thursday he complained of stomach ache in the morning. He died. At Zohar we prayed to another prayer for him. Just last Thursday. But Allah accepted him in the month of Ramadan. So no care, there is no certain, as certain thing. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَعَبُدْ رَبَّ أَحَبْتَ يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Allah says glorify, therefore glorify and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And prostrate, bow down. Why? وَعَبُدْ رَبَّ أَحَبْتَ يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Because the most certain thing before death comes to you, there is nothing more certain than death, and there is nothing more uncertain than life itself. <coughs> These days, Shaykh Ramadan al Lazi unzila fi al Quran, when you look at the verses of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right after that verse of the fasting of Ramadan, Allah says, Ayyam al Ma'budah, limited number of days. Fixed, limited, few number of days. Most of them are gone, the circumstances. What few we have left? SubhanAllah, the night of power, Laylatul Qadr, might still be out there. Rasulullah said, look for the night of power in the last five odd nights of the ten nights. The 21st, the 23rd, the 25th, and the 27th, and the 29th. Whoever finds this night, he will or she will get a reward as if they worshipped more than 83 years and 4 months. Laylatul Qadr Do you want the night of Laylatul Qadr? The power is Allah is asking. Inna anzalna fi Laylatul Qadr. Indeed, we repeat the Quran in the night of power, in the night of decree. Do you want this night of power and decree is? Laylatul Qadr Qaydiyumi Al Fishah. It is better in worship than a thousand months. When you divide 1,000 months by 12 months, it comes to 83 years and 4 months. Better than 83 years and 4 months. People came, the Sahaba came and complained to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh, Prophet of Allah, people of previous nations, of Bani Israel, they had long lives, 200 years, 300 years. They would worship Allah for 80 years, non-stop. But our lifestyle itself is 60 years, 80 years of Prophet of Allah. Allah revealed the verses in the Quran. Inna anzalna fi Laylatul Qadr, wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayyun min al fisha. On the night of Laylatul Qadr, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "In the Jibril alayhi salam, tanazzalu malaikat wa ruh fiha bi izni Rabbihi min kulli amr." On that night. Angel Jibreel a.s. descends with innumerable number of angels. And they fill up the earth. They descend near Kaaba, said Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Angel Jibreel a.s. plants a green flag on the top of the Kaaba and tells the angels to spread and scatter on the face of the earth. See and look whoever is inciting in Salah or reciting Quran or doing dhikr or making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, convey the salams, peace, blessings, salutations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go, spread, scatter. They all go, looking for anyone busy in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As soon as the clock hits Fajr time, they all gather in their ancient Jibreel salam. 
And the angel Jibreel says, Depart, O Malaika, depart. Go back, O angels. The angel say, O Jibreel, what happened to the, those people we found in worship? And we conveyed Allah's salams and greetings to them and shook hands with them. And Jibreel says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven all of them. Except four kinds of people, he says. Number one, those who are addicted to drinking wine, liquor, beer. Number two, those who are disobedient to their parents. Number three, those who severe break their ties with their relatives. Bonds of kinship. And number four, those who harbor ill feelings against their fellow Muslim brothers and sisters who harbor, who want harm to come to them, who don't want any good things to come to them, who are jealous and envious of their fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. Except these four, Allah puts their fasting, their salat, their recitation, everything pending till they seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and join those signs and remove cleanse their hearts of their gay feelings towards the fellow Muslims. Everyone is forgiven. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who always maintain ties of our relationship with our relatives. Inna hadihi rahim shujratun min ar-Rahmani azza wa jal. Indeed, truly, Prophet said, this bond of kinship, of relatives, is from the, from the, from the branches of a Rahman Azzawajal. Whoever breaks these ties, Jannah becomes haram on them, said Prophet. Paradise becomes haram upon them. Joining ties. Prophet said, joining ties with your relatives is not reciprocating the con conduct of the relatives that if they are good to me, I will be good to them. Making the good ties. But joining ties, Prophet said, is joining ties with those who break their ties with you. Good deeds, Prophet said, good deeds saves a person from bad death. Secret charity subsides, rubs anger, and strengthening bonds of kinship prolongs life, said Prophet Sallallahu He prolongs life. What does it mean, prolongs life? Do we live 70 years, 80 years, 100 years? The scholars say, no, what Allah, what Prophet Sallallahu means by prolonging life is, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give us a life full of birth, blessing. Doing good deeds which will benefit us in the life of the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those. A holy holy that I start to run the earth and start to be a full of being a world for you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulihi Kareem, amma ba'ad. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, look for the night of power in these last five odd nights. Which night is that? No one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What time does the angel Jibreel descends and the angels, innumerable angels descend? No one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But for us to stay awake all five nights, all five nights is a very difficult thing. We can, we can do that. We can we have work the following day. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking for excuses. He's looking for excuses to reward us with a night of level power will be the night of level to tell it only if you want to have it. Hmm? As many as you want in the month of Ramadan in the lifespan we have. 
اکرم الاکرمین ارحم الراحمین خیر الراحمین خیر المساکین رب المستصفین لور دویگ اور لور The five predecessors, because of their piety and righteousness and sacrifices, found out the clue from the Quran that each one of us can get the rewards of the night of the Qadr, even if you're sleeping the portions of the night. How? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a hint in the Quran. He says, What time do they descend the angels degree and the innumerable angels? No one knows. But Allah says when they descend, they are there until the clock hits the Fajr time. They are there until the clock hits the Fajr time. So just before Fajr, at the time of Suhoor, or we get a few minutes, these five nights before Suhoor, just few minutes before Suhoor, you're standing up in Salah, or you're reciting Quran, you're making Dua, or you're doing Dhikr, you can be absolutely certain that you have got the night of the Qadr. And the salam of Angel Jibreel and the other angels from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How much more easier can it get in these short nights of Ramadan that's like the Christmas? All of us can get these rewards of the night of the Qadr. Even though the 21st and 23rd nights are gone, if you have missed it. But maybe this night is in the 25th, 27th, or 29th. Few minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If I find the night of the Lil Qadr, Hadith Aisha Rasulullah when I ask Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O Prophet of Allah, if I find the night of the Lil Qadr, what dua should I make? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Say this, Allahumma inna al-Athmun tuhibu al-Afwa fa'fani. O Allah, you are the one who forgives. You love to forgive, so forgive me. The biggest need of mine and yours is the forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the biggest need we have today, the forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sitting, walking, standing in that night, if you get an opportunity to accept your business. The most beloved action in this night in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is making dua to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Asking any halal need you have, hajjah you have, ask Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah announces, is there anyone who has the needs to be fulfilled? Who wants to be forgiven? Who seeks repentance? I'm here to forgive them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in the night of the little khadr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in these remaining days of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us his nearness in this Ramadan and accept all our fasting. The fasting 23 days so far, respected listeners, 24 days, 25 days. It's not an easy task by any means. Allah knows this, and we know this. But what the reward Allah will give to us, Allah. Allah, that is why Rasulullah said on the day of Eid, when the people are going to pray Eid Salah, the angels come, watching them on the both sides of the streets, glorifying Allah and seeking forgiveness of these people. Everybody can hear their glorification and the dua for the people who fasted in the month of Ramadan except the human beings and jinns and prophets Allah will ask them what should be the reward for these people who fasted for me in the daytime and soon in tarawih in the night time what should be the reward the angels say Allah, Allah their reward should be the reward an employee gets for the hard work he or she has done Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you bear witness I have forgiven them all of them today and I have given them my pleasure. Allah, the, the angels become very happy with that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says anything they ask this day to me on the day of Eid in the dua after the salah, anything they ask me of the hereafter, I will surely give it to them. And anything they ask of these worldly needs, I will look at them favorably. Today I am pleased with them and they should be pleased with me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those. Rabbana atiya fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa fi al-akhirati. Rabbana la tuzi kulubana ba'adhi dhariqana wa hudana mila nubah ahma. Inna ka alta al-wahab. Ibad Allah. Inna Allah ya'amudu bil-adhi wal-ahsan. Wa ibaidhi al-qurba. Wa ibaidhi al-fahshari wal-munkari wal-bahar.